Hey, it's Kat Ramirez and I am live. I just have to admit this. Every time I go live and I stream and I see the you're live, it gets me so excited. I hate to tell you this. It's so funny because I see it and I'm like, oh, I still get that reaction and I'm so excited about when I see, oh, you're live, cat. Sorry, I'm just ma rambling. Anyways, if you saw my notes, we are going to talk about stop saying I'm sorry. And we're going to talk about some reasons why we need to stop saying I'm sorry. And also, what's the perception of when you do say I'm sorry all the time. And I kind of gave a teaser earlier in my LinkedIn. If you saw it, I did a video and I kind of gave some people some motivation and said, stop saying I'm sorry. If you have an opinion, stop saying. So um, if you didn't see it, just check my wall. You'll see that um, I did a little teaser to some motivation to, to get you encouraged to stop saying I'm sorry. Why am I talking about this? Because I run into a lot of people that when I'm having conversations with people and we're having day-to-day -day conversations and I hear, I'm sorry, and I'm just sitting there thinking, okay, what are they sorry about? Why did they just say they were sorry? And I'm just thinking, I'm like, mm, okay, did I just miss something? Uh, and I don't know if anybody else ever thinks that when you're having conversations with someone and they kind of just drop that on you and you're like, Okay, so let's talk about, first I want to talk about what is the definition of why you should say I'm sorry, okay? So um, saying I'm sorry is usually used when you're telling someone that you're ashamed or unhappy or if you did something wrong or you did something to upset someone, okay? That's typically when people say, I'm sorry. It is, it's you're trying to prevent something of that was happening, okay? So let's keep that in mind of why we say, I'm sorry. Okay, so uh, let me see, where am I at? Okay, so let me just go through some of my notes. And if you are catching me alive, drop me a line. Let me know where you're watching from. Uh, I would love to see and hear um, anybody who is watching right now to know, you know, where are you watching from? Let me know. Um, and if you, um, if this is a good time, because I'm trying to figure out a good time that uh, to have these, and um, I'm not sure. So I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to see when does this work best for people. And I was trying a couple times late at night, and I'm not sure that late at night works. You know, um, so uh, it's six o'clock, which is not too late. But you know, we're here. Okay. So I told you the definition of why someone should say, I'm sorry. So it's clear, you did something wrong, you feel bad, or um, you think you insulted or did something wrong, and you feel like you, you know, somebody in the room or the person that you're with, that you feel like you offended them somehow. So that's when we use usually say, I'm sorry. So what I want to talk about is, I don't think people understand or know that there is so much research out there for people to understand that a lot of times when people say I'm sorry and there's nothing to be sorry about, it makes other people think less of them. And so I don't want anybody to ever go into a room or a board meeting or a uh, client meeting and you're apologizing left and right when you shouldn't be. So that's why I'm having this conversation. I'm having this conversation so you minimize the use of I'm sorry to when it's actually needed and not in your everyday uh, dialogue, in your everyday uh, conversations like it tends to happen and I've encountered it. So let's dig a little deeper and um, let's talk about why uh, people shouldn't say I'm sorry in everyday conversations, okay? So... First of all, 
when you use it in your everyday conversation, you're just overusing, I'm sorry, and you're abusing it. And so you're really, this is not going to be very effective. And um, it just comes across as really, really bad. And maybe sometimes insincere, just so you know. Um, and I should probably use it in this dialogue, but I don't want to make a habit of saying, I'm sorry. So, cause I thought of, well, let me just start this out and say, I'm sorry. And this is Kat Ramirez. Oh, by the way, let me introduce myself. Hey, I just reminded myself I'm Kat Ramirez. I'm CEO and founder of Advertise. We help businesses stand out and grow. And I'm definitely not sorry about that. Okay. So, uh, let's see examples of, um, okay, so let's talk about some ways that people say I'm sorry that are negative and how uh, people, uh, how it can backfire fire on you, okay? So the first thing is when someone says I'm sorry uh, a little too much or in inappropriate times is people start to lose respect for you because you're apologizing for things that you should be clearly be confident about when you are injecting this dialogue or your opinion or this comment that you're trying to bring out. So just know that when you say, I'm sorry, and it wasn't appropriate, you're going to start to deteriorate the respect that you have from the people around you. And so, and this is just a, a something that happens over time, a perception, okay? Um, it's almost like you're giving someone, uh, and especially bad people, if you're giving them permission to treat you bad or even abuse you, you know? So keep that in mind. Okay, second lesson. Um, I'm sorry if you say it, too many times, like way too much, and in normal conversation, then it lessens the effect of when you're really, really sorry that, you know, you really did do something and you're trying to apologize. It's almost like, you know, when someone cried wolf and then you say you're sorry because you did do something and it was really bad and it was impactful. And then people think less of it because they're like, you say you're sorry all the time. So what's this? Sorry. I don't think it doesn't carry any weight on my book, you know? So, uh, when you're saying it for any situation, it lessens the impact of the times that it should be for the situation where you're truly and dearly sorry. Okay. Uh, and you true, and it truly does warrant an apology from you. So keep that in mind. Okay. Here's a good one because I had a girlfriend who did, I'm sorry, a lot. And so the thing it did the most to me, which is the next point, is it's extremely annoying. It is annoying when someone is constantly and repeatedly saying, I'm sorry, before every freaking sentence. Okay. And so it, it, it ten, you tend to not hang out with these people um, because it makes you feel really, really bad because they're apologizing in, in every sentence, you know, and you don't know how to be around these people. Okay, that's my cat. And if you hear that, sorry about that. Um, I don't know why she's crying like that, but that's her. Um, okay, so... I'll give you an example. Uh, I had a really, really good friend um, when I was uh, just got out of college and uh, we worked together and we would like do weekend getaways and we go travel and do fun stuff. And when we would hang out, you know, I would spend time with her and she, we would talk and, you know, collect and have fun and whatever. And then, but it was like every other sentence she would say, I'm sorry, you know, I should have did this or I'm doing this and I'm sorry. I, I, I know that this was a uh, bad timing or every freaking sentence had, I'm sorry. And at some point I know I stopped her and I said, look, 
luck here. You're going to have to take control of the I'm sorry's and stop it. Just stop it. Because it was so annoying to me. And it was like, why are you sorry? There's nothing for you to be sorry about. You know, you can say anything. It's not offending me. Um, you don't need to apologize for having an opinion. You don't need to apologize for injecting you know, your conversation. You don't need to apologize if you disagree with me. I mean, so stop it. So it, I have known someone who uh, was really, really bad at it. And I had, and I, I told her, I said, you got to really work on it. You have to remove the, I'm sorry. And when she was around me, I said, hey, I'll point it out. Every time you say I'm sorry, I'm going to point it out so that you stop saying I'm sorry because it was extremely annoying, I'm telling you. And if you don't know how horribly annoying it is, um, call me. I will say I'm sorry a million times in our conversation so you understand. And it is not fun. No, you don't want someone who says I'm sorry all the time. It's just, ah, okay, we're going to move on. <laughs> okay. And so another reason why you don't want to use I'm sorry all the time is, and maybe in my girlfriend situation, I know I saw a little bit of this, is it can totally lower your self-esteem because think about it. You're saying, I'm sorry. So you're putting blame on yourself. You're saying, that you're so sorry for interjecting or having this opinion or, you know, wanting to uh, say this comment and you're making yourself feel like that you don't have a right to voice your opinion. So you, you're clearly bought into the fact that your, your self-esteem has come down and down and down. And so the more times that you say you're sorry, you're diminishing your self-esteem and almost like you don't have your the credibility or the um, uh, what um, the the strength or the confidence to just make a comment without saying I'm sorry. So think about that because it can really really hurt your self esteem, and you don't want to diminish your self esteem. That's that's not fair to you or anybody around you. And if you're a parent, you don't want to teach these really bad types of habits. So let's recap the reasons why you shouldn't say I'm sorry all the time when it isn't even warrant. Okay. Uh, people lose respect. That's the first one. Remember it lessens the impact of when you're truly sorry for something and you should be sorry for something. And it's almost like you said it so many times you cried. Well, nobody's going to believe that you're sorry. Okay. It's extremely annoying. And it can lower your self-esteem. All of them are, are really negative, just so you know. Um, so probably want to stop saying, I'm sorry. And you you know who you are. You can self-reflect. -re um, maybe you're not tuned in that you say it all the time, but you know who you are. Because I'm sure somebody may have pointed it out at one time that maybe you say, I'm sorry, a little too much. So, you know appreciate that they um, are enough of a friend to tell you that. Okay. So monitoring your apologies. So there are lots of ways that you can fix this. There's lots. And so let's talk about a few things that you can do and put in place so that you lessen the I'm sorry's and eventually remove them until they are actually warrant that there is actually a time for you to say, I'm sorry. Um, so the first step is to just be aware, be self-aware and know when you're saying, I'm sorry, and just stop yourself. And even if you already came out, then just restate the sentence again. And so that you eliminate the I'm sorry. So be self-aware. That's the first step. Okay. Uh, the second thing you can do is know what you should and shouldn't apologize. Like, do you really inherently know when you should say I'm sorry? 
And again, I could say the definition again, that way it's a little reminder, but basically it's used again, if you're ashamed, unhappy, if you've done something to upset someone or you feel like you offended someone, that's when you use, I'm sorry. Not when you're just making any conversation or a simple comment uh, or you assume or think you're going to offend someone. No, don't do it before. You're going to never do that before um, because assumptions are like, you know, like there's an old saying, everybody, assumptions are like, hmm, it's a bad word and everybody has one or, you know, or some, I can't remember. What If you know the saying, then throw it down there and let me know. Okay, so know when to say, I'm sorry, just know when to say it. So that's the second one, okay? Um, the other thing you can do is start working on dialogue that you can say instead of saying, I'm sorry. So, you know, catch it in the moment and then um, think about how you can change it or work through it. You know, something like um, if you say, um, so let me see if I can come up with a good example. I had one uh, that I written on my desk and I think I lost it. I don't know what I did with it because uh, I had a lot of good examples um, of I'm sorry. Um, so let's say that someone said something like, um, I'm sorry, but I have a question because this is everyday conversation. So I'm sorry, I have a question. Like, this is what annoys me, okay? Instead, why don't you just say, I have a question. <laughs> I know this is easier said than done. I know that because these, these saying I'm sorry has been embedded. So if you have this problem, it's not, well, it is a problem. If you have this situation where you're saying, I'm sorry, you have been trained over time to say it and you're comfortable with it. So it's going to take a while to make yourself uncomfortable with it and remove it from your dialogue. But that, that's a great example is, you know, you say, Hey, I'm sorry. I have a question. Instead, you should just say, Hey, I have a question. See how different they are? Because one feels like they're unsure, they're not very confident, you know? And the other one is they're very confident, they wanna learn more, and they just have a question. So think about that when it comes out and how the person who's receiving it, it comes across them, okay? Because you don't wanna be perceived as this insecure, unconfident person, especially if you're talking to, you know, team members or um, um, customers or, you know, anybody that you're engaging with, especially if you want to grow in your industry, you don't want to seem weak. No, don't do that. Okay. Uh, so another thing uh, that you can do to take a remove the I'm sorry is to totally get comfortable with say, just saying no. So a lot of times I'm sorry is a result of you're uh, coming up with some excuses as somebody asks you to do something and um, you're like, I'm sorry, I have to do this and this and this and, you know, blah, 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 blah. Whereas you could have just said, no, I can't do it. I have um, basketball practice or I'm doing something with my family. So you just have to be comfortable with saying no and it's okay to say no. It's okay. You don't have to apologize for saying no, because if someone asks you to do something and it's and you can't fit it in and you can't do it, say no. It's okay. The worst they can do is, you know, not ask you again ever. Hey, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's probably something you love to do and you just couldn't, you know, you couldn't fit in your schedule. Okay. Um, but that's another thing is just you want to be as transparent as you can be. And there's no reason for you to apologize for having an opinion, for voicing your thoughts, 
uh, for making a comment or for asking a question. There is no reason for you to apologize before any of that. No, absolutely not. You should just do it without the I'm sorry. There's no need for it. It only weakens you. Trust me, it does. And um, every time that you say I'm sorry before you interject one of the things I just said, it just diminishes your um, image to the people that are around you. And you don't want to do that. Okay. Uh, it's just not good. Okay. So when is saying I'm sorry appropriate? Well, when you're truly, truly sorry that you hurt someone or you uh, did something wrong or you offended someone, that's when it's truly pro appropriate. And it's okay to say, and you say it with sincerity. You don't say it disrespectfully and you definitely don't say it as, as passing conversation. You, you want to say it with sincerity and you want to have feeling behind it. Um, so that's the difference. And that's the reason I wanted to talk about, you know, saying I'm sorry too much because it is ineffective. It does portray you as a weak person. It does lower your self-esteem. It is extremely annoying. Yeah. I can't stand it when people say it every freaking sentence. It's like, just say it. And, um, you know, and all the things I just talked to you about, like when my girlfriend did it, I, you know, you, I started to lose respect for her because she was this very educated woman who knew a lot and climbed the ranks. And she's saying, I'm sorry at every sentence. And I'm, it just drove me nuts. And I'm like, please don't do that. You're like, oh my God, can I get out of here? Um, so don't do that. You don't want to drive someone nuts. You want people to respect you. So just let me know what your thoughts are, you know, um, have you run across this? Are you the one who's saying I'm sorry all the time? Or uh, have you been in meetings where you came across, you know, a complete stranger and they're apologizing every time they're interjecting or they're asking a question or they're making a comment? Um, you know, I just sit there and I'm like, what is wrong with them? <laughs> Like, did they, did I give them a look like I was offended? I don't know. Maybe I did. You know, I can be like an open book. You can tell what's going on here because, you know, so let me know what your thoughts are. Drop me a line. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts and get some feedback from anybody. Let me know. I'm just curious. And um, I thought this was a great conversation to talk about. Um, I, I don't want to say this, but, you know, women tend to do it more than men, unfortunately. And a lot of times it's because um, we're trained to think that we're not smart enough to say something. And so a fear of we might say something stupid or, you know, whatever. But that should you should that should not be the reason to say I'm sorry. The you should just have confidence and have a conversation and interject and and tell your two cents. You should just do it. Just do it. Apologize if you upset someone or you piss someone off or you know you made someone feel uncomfortable. Apologize when it's appropriate. Don't apologize when you're having everyday conversation. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And don't do it. I'm telling you, don't do it. Okay. And if you need a coach to remind you, you know, reach out to me, I'll get on the phone and I'll beat you up and tell you not to do it. Uh, and just practice some of the things that I just uh, mentioned. And there's lots of other tools. I think there's an app for it. I mean, there's tons. And that just goes to show how much people say I'm sorry all the time because there's tons and tons of articles. There's tons and tons of books. So there is tons of applications and apps and things to help you to prevent you from saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry for this conversation. <laughs> okay. Um, that's all I was going to talk about. This took 
you know, quite a bit. I thought this was going to be pretty quick and down and dirty, but it's not. So that's okay. Um, these tips and tools are to help you stand out and grow. So give me some feedback. Let me know if you're using any of these tips or tools or resources. I would love to get some feedback. I want to hear a success story. Reach out to me. Tell me. You know, direct message me on any of the social platforms and let me know, you know, if you've applied anything that I have uh, taught or talked about. I am, uh, I can, that's my next card. <laughs> I am on all social media. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And um, connect with me. Follow me. Uh, I am a total and complete resource. I love helping people out and I'm happy to help you out because you are kind enough to give me your time and I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So isn't it nice to say thank you as opposed to I'm sorry? <laughs> um, so as I always end my show, you got this. And as Oprah would say, you got this, you got this, you got this, you got this. We all got this. So uh, I hope you have a great night. Uh, I hope that I see bigger numbers on this broadcast because the no, the broadcasts I've been doing late at night were like, oh, man, nobody's watching. Okay, maybe I need to do them at 6 a.m. Mm, maybe I need to get up early and everybody's an early bird. I can try that. <laughs> okay, I am done here. And uh, if you have any questions, just direct message me. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, just give me your feedback. If you have any suggestions of what I should be talking about in the future, like I said, I think I said this on another cast, I have lots of content. It's kind of scary how much content I have. I could be talking for days. Absolutely. Days and days and days. So nobody's keeping me off of this. <laughs> Uh, if you have any suggestions, let me know. I've got lots of topics and that I'm going to cover. So I, I probably will hit one of the ones that you're thinking of, but might hit it sooner than later. If you just throw me a line and let me know, have a great night. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And until next time you got this. <laughs>